After a successful maiden edition of the Women's Premier League last year, we are all set for yet another season that is set to begin on February 23rd with the first match that will be played between the Mumbai Indians and the Delhi Capitals, the finalist of the first edition of the Women's Premier League. And today we will be talking about the defending champions, Mumbai Indians. So this, uh, and I have been joined by Sabya Sachi with me. So Sabya, do you think that this Harman Preet called let side will be able to weave their magic again and lift the tro- trophy for th- and defend rather their trophy for this season see last year when the wpl took place mumbai indians did a fabulous job in the auction by picking some of the world's best all rounders and that clearly showed in the way they played <coughs> last season so they won five matches in a row so that actually laid the platform for a lovely campaign and although they lost two matches mm-hmm. in between that uh, never quite impacted their campaign because once they went into that eliminator against up warriors there was no stopping them and their experience also showed when they played in the final against the delhi capitals although they lost a couple of quick wickets they had the experience to take them past the finishing line and i i at least this season they are most likely to go at least to the eliminator i'm not sure of the final they might even go on to um, win the title so okay. i am again backing them to do well and as you were talking about experience you know harman preet kaur their captain who did well for them last year as well who truly led them from the front with the bat but this time if you see uh, her uh, form you know especially in the home series against england then uh, australia as well she uh, we saw the one of test match against england and australia then the t20i and odi series she didn't score a single 50 run plus uh, 50 uh, in any of those matches which is quite shocking for the player of her stature so do uh, you think her if, let's say poor form although we will be hoping to see her back in form but if she doesn't would that affect uh, mumbai's chances see for a player of harman's class scoring 26 runs against australia in six innings that is a little underwhelming but again if you look into harman's career she has always made strong comebacks and i feel that uh, the break that she is getting between this australia series and the wpl i'm sure that she must be planning on how to approach this game in the wpl and i'm sure she will make a strong comeback last year she played some very useful knocks and also contributed heavily in the final so as far as mi are concerned they shouldn't be too worried about harman preet's course form and let's talk about their strength you know the all rounders i think last year with skyver brunt being there and you know their strength really lied in the foreign players especially all the all rounders so who will be your uh, top all rounder picks for uh, uh, top foreign picks i would rather say for the team See, first of all, two names that I would like to take is Nat Sewer Brunt and Haley Matthews. Mm-hmm. Haley Matthews, if I am not wrong, she won around seven to eight back-to-back T20I Player of the Match awards, and that clearly shows the kind of cricketer she is. So you just can't afford to leave her out. Mm-hmm. Second is Nat Sewer Brunt. She was a player of the tournament last season. Yeah. Then she scored a half century in the final. She has done brilliantly for England across all three formats. So Matthews and uh, Sivar Brunt are the ones Mumbai Indians should not even think about dropping. Third, I will go with Amelia Kerr. She has grown leaps and bounds in the last two years. Her batting has grown beautifully since that uh, bilateral series against India from the uh, before the uh, 2022 World Cup. And uh, recently, she picked up five wicket hauls for the Wellington Blaze in the Super Smash and also batted beautifully. So these are the three all-rounders. Fourth or fourth fourth all-rounder. I'm a little confused because uh, it has to be either Izzy Wong or it will be Shabnam Ismail. I don't see Chloe Tran playing because again she's an off, she's a spinner. And if uh, Mumbai Indians want to include a fourth all-rounder, that has to be someone who bowls medium pace. Mm-hmm. So in that case, uh, it will either be Izzy Wong or Shabnam Ismail. If they want a specialist, then it, it will be Ismail. But then again. Wong is someone who picked up a hat trick last season, and it will be hard on her if Mumbai Indians drop him, drop her. And you know, as you talked about Shabnam Ismail, she has been roped in by Mumbai Indians for a whopping 
a crore, 1.2 crores, and uh, you know uh, she was with UP Warriors last season, and she didn't get to feature in a lot of matches. And one of the loopholes that has been, uh, uh, despite a spectacular season, if a loophole that I saw was their fast bowling, like they didn't have a lot of good fast bowling options in their lineup. And with uh, Shabnam being there now, do you think she will get to play more matches than what she did last season with the UP Warriors? See, last season, what happened with the EP Warriors is they had the likes of Talia McGrath, they had Aliza Hilly and Sophie Eccleston. Clearly, you can say that these are the best T20, some of the best T20 players in the world, so you can't drop them. So, Shabnim had to be, she was in and out of the team and they had to drop Grace Harris, someone like Grace Harris who could just demolish any bowling attack with her power hitting. So, this season, I also feel that it might end up being the same. But if someone gets dropped from the Mumbai Indians team, I see it being Izzy Wong. Not because she's a bad cricketer, she's a brilliant cricketer. She hits the ball hard and also showed her bowling skills last year. But if they want a um, genuine fast bowler, it has to be Shabnim. Okay, so let's, you know, I think Mumbai Indians has this habit of producing, scouting some young talented players. And you know, of course, we have seen with the, it with the men's team and now with the women's team as well. We saw a surprise package in the name of Saika Ishak and she picked up 15 wickets for them and with her brilliant performance, she came in as a surprise package for everybody. And then she also earned her maiden India call-up during the T20I series against England. So do you think, you know, uh, will she remain still as effective as she was last season? See, Saika has grown in the last 12 months definitely from being an unknown cricketer to being a household name. She definitely has taken rapid strides. And uh, Saika is also, her confidence must also have gone up because after she picked up the three wicket haul in the third T20I against England. And recently in the senior women's uh, one day international trophy, uh, one day trophy she picked up seven wickets from five matches, including a three wicket haul. So I believe that she has grown and she might, Mumbai Indians will again depend on her to be a genuine wicket taker this season. And who do you think in this amazing pool of talented players, who will be the standout player for Mumbai Indians this year? See, I will uh, go for either Hayley Matthews or Nat Siver Brunt. They are the world's two best all-rounders. You just can't rule them out at any stage. Matthews can. Matthews has been going through a purple patch in a career of late. So, if you ask me, it will be tough not to say Nasi would run, but I will personally go with Haley Matthews, keeping in mind a decent form. And I think, as you also mentioned about Nat Cyber Brunt, even I think that the way she has played last year, whether it be it international or the T the T20 format, the WPL, she has been brilliant throughout. And it would be really interesting to see if Mumbai Indians will be able to defend their title yet again. We are up for a really, really exciting tournament that awaits us. That begins from the February 23rd, and we will be back with more such analysis of all the other teams that will be playing the Women's Premier League. This is me, Diya. Kakkar signing off with Sabhisachi Chaudhary.